Hello everyone. In this demo, we will look at various 4D SASE use cases to secure the remote workforce. 4D SASE is powered by the same 4D OS as used on the 4D gates along with 4D guard AI powered security services. So let's get started with 4D SASE cloud portal. The dashboard has multiple predefined widgets. Admin can drill down into user connection monitor widget to get details on connected users, how they are connected to 4D SASE either using the 4D client agent or via the pack file and it also provides details on user location by looking at the SASE pop they are connected to. The manage endpoint widget provides details on all the devices seen by 4D SASE since the initial deployment. The entitlement widget provides details on current license usage for both agent and agentless options. Moving on, 4D view tabs provide summary of all the user activity in an environment. Application tabs provide a list of actively used applications. Websites tab provide information on actively visited websites by each user connected to the 4D SASE. And similarly, Thread tab will provide insights into different threat vectors observed by 4D SASE over a period of time. We can filter threat activity report based on the type of threats, actions, alert level or security profile groups. Moving on to configuration section, we have VPN policies to control and inspect all SSL VPN user traffic and SWIG policies to control and inspect clientless user traffic who gets redirected to 4D SASE via a PAC file. 4D SASE further simplifies security profile management by grouping together all the security profiles under the security tab. These profiles are set to recommended settings by default and an option to customize each of these profiles is also provided. Security admin can create multiple profile groups as needed and can later apply these profiles to VPN or SWIG policies to perform layer 7 content inspection. Now let's look at 4D SASE secure internet access in action. In the 4D client console, we can see that the endpoint is managed by 4D SASE and is connected to 4D SASE over the SSL VPN. So let's begin with SSL inspection use case. I have enabled deep SSL inspection inside the security tab, but it is not enforced in the VPN policy. As such, 4D SASE will not block the download of a malicious encrypted file. Now let's go back to 4D SASE portal and enforce deep SSL inspection inside the VPN policy by clearing the force certificate inspection option. Now again let's try to download a malicious file but this time 4D SASE will decrypt the content and block file download. This signifies the importance of enabling SSL inspection in today's world where more than 95% of web traffic is encrypted. Now let's move on to the web filtering use case. Here I will try to access a malicious website. But as you can see, 4D SASE research the connection and presents a blocked notification page. Now let's browse to Google Play Store and verify decryption process. Since deep SSL inspection is enabled, 4D SASE impersonates Google certificate and forwards it to the client browser. This can be confirmed by looking at issued by field of the certificate which in this case represents the serial number of the 4D SASE instance. Moving forward, as I have blocked the gaming category in my web filter profile, if I navigate to apps and try to access games tab, 4D SASE forwards a response page with block notification message. Now let's move back to security tab on the SASE portal and check the web filtering logs. I will filter these logs to verify our recent web activity. For the source column, I will use the filter as rsmith and later apply another filter for action equals to blog. Now we can see the logs related to recent web activity for user rsmith. Here we can notice that the website deltasearch.com is categorized as malicious and blocked by the 4D SASE. Similarly, the user was also blocked from accessing gaming applications in the Google Play Store. 
Now let's quickly go through application control security profile. I have customized this profile to block gaming applications and also added some application override rules to block an overall allow action for some of the categories. Here I am blocking certain collaboration apps like WeChat, Google Chat, Discord and have also set up granular app control rules to block a file upload or downloads to the apps like Box and access to personal Google Drive account. Now let's take a look at all the user activity that violated configured app control rules. Under the threat activity, we can see that the app control blocked file upload to box.com, Google Chat, access to personal Google Drive account, along with all the gaming related activity. Now let's move on to secure private access use case. The assumption for this use case to work is that FortiGate is configured with appropriate ZTNA rules and access proxy virtual IPs which will be mapped to real servers hosting applications in the data center. All the FortiGates that are registered with same support account as FortiSASE will automatically show up under the ZTNA access proxy tab. The very first step is to authorize all the FortiGates which will be acting as ZTNA gateway at each of the data center locations. Later, we can configure zero trust tags that will be assigned to the endpoints based on the ongoing telemetry checks performed by the FortiSASE. Under the endpoint profiles, admin can configure features related to remote access. They can also configure split tunnel for trusted application traffic. Endpoint security features like enable next gen AV functionality, vulnerability scanning, ransomware protection, and USB device control. Here we can also enable sandbox analysis with the option to choose from 4D sandbox cloud or on-premises sandbox. Most importantly, we can define ZTNA connection rules for TCP forwarding use cases such as RDP and SSH access. Now let's move on to a remote desktop and see ZTNA in action. 4D client console shows that the endpoint is managed via 4D SASE. And by looking at the user profile, we can see that the device belongs to IT department, is part of TMG local domain, and has an AV tag, which means the endpoint is compliant to corporate policies. Now, let's try to access resources belonging to IT department. FortiGate will authenticate the device based on the unique certificate assigned to the endpoint by FortiSASE, and later redirect the user for authentication with SAML IDP. Once user authenticates, he will be able to access the 4D analyzer server. Now, if user tries to access any other resource in the IT department, 4D gate will authenticate the device again. And since the user has authenticated recently with single sign-on services, he will be allowed to access the resource based on ZTNA rules and tags. But in case user tries to access resource from another department, 4D gate will again authenticate the device but access will be blocked based on user group and tags configured in the ZTNA rules. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.